Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're gonna do a little something different today. Uh, I'm gonna clean this button right here. This is a uh, New York State uh, cuff button, three piece cuff button. Uh, so it's just a little guy. This isn't one I dug, uh, but I got it from a local bottle digger here uh, where I'm from. Uh, he came across this one day while bottle digging, and he didn't have much interest in it, so I gladly you know, took it off his hands. So. But uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to electrolyze this. Uh, it'll be the first time I've tried that with a button. I've done it with uh, several uh, iron objects, relics that I've dug, but I uh, haven't tried it with a button yet. Uh, but I've seen people do it online and with some pretty good results, so I'm going to give it a shot today, see how it goes, and uh, here we go. Alright, well, here's my little uh, makeshift electrolysis for this uh, relic here. Uh, right now I'm using a cell phone charger moment. Connected to negative, positive, I believe. Um, <clears throat> I got baking soda in there, the spoon, because uh, I didn't feel like going out to the garage because it's too cold. To get a, a real piece of scrap. But, um, yeah. Here's the setup. Got a little baking soda in there. I don't have any of those uh, gated clamps or whatever yet. So I just tie the wire around there before I plug it in. That's the coffee maker. And there. So there's another angle. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna get this plugged in here. Looks like it's working, so that's pretty much the basic idea. I just used a little bit of baking soda and a little Tupperware spoon from the kitchen, cell phone charger. And we're gonna come back to this in a few hours and see where we're at with it. Hopefully, it works. Here we are after about about an hour, so we're gonna take it out and see what it looks like. And it's Mickey. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's working. Uh, let's see. Frick. Get you guys a good picture. Of you. Let's see, that's only after about an hour. And that's looking much, much better. Like, I can, you can almost start to see the back mark, which I could not make out before. And that's one of the things I'm hoping for <clears throat> after this, is uh, maybe getting to make up the back mark. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's only after an hour. We're going to give it, I'm going to put it back in for a little while. Uh, maybe a couple more hours. And uh, see how much cleaner we can get it. But I like where it's going already. And while I got you, I guess I'm going to show you this stuff, why not? Some bottles. Just some random bottles. Uh, 
ignore that one, that's recent. Uh, but here's a cold cream I found at a cellar hole recently. Uh, that's a Coke bottle I got at a yard sale, but that's a cool Christmas one from uh, 1923, made locally. Um, can't think I got that from a bottle digger, a local bottle digger, along with these two. Uh, that's local made, and so is that. Uh, this is one I found at a cellar hole. It's uh, not that old, but cool. Um, a fossil my fiance found at one of our cellar holes. Got some uh, shells in there. We thought that was pretty cool. And this one I came across while metal detecting a uh, World War II naval base uh, in New York. I uh, didn't find much metal detecting that day, but I did come across this uh, pretty neat Pepsi bottle. Uh, dated... Oh, looks like 1953. Okay, here we are after about five hours or so. So, notice the water has changed quite a bit, and let's get a look. the difference already and I think I'm gonna pull it out for now uh, give it a little bit more time maybe uh, but I think I'm gonna pull it out and see I think it might be done so we'll go from there Okay, here it is after about 12 hours in the electrolysis. Uh, probably around 12 hours, I don't know, I fell asleep, so. Uh, but yeah, it came out pretty good, I think. You can see it there. Uh, as you saw before, it was just extremely caked with uh, just... Bottle dump gunk, I guess. Uh, just lots of stuff. Like, I could not make out this back mark before. And now I can read it. So it's uh, extra quality. And it's got the real nice shank. Uh, didn't bring out any of the gold gilt. I didn't expected to really but you know I was kind of hoping it would but uh, yeah that's a pretty good end result uh, normally what I would do right now is give it a light coat and rub with olive oil I've also seen people use Vaseline uh, but I use olive oil when I am unfortunately out right now so I will skip that step for the next time all I really did after I took it out of the electrolysis was uh, give it a, ran it under cold water and just gave it a light brush with a toothbrush. Really light. And just went around where it was still had some gunk on it and came right off. Right, so yeah. Really happy with the way that came out. I think that's a good technique I might use for future buttons, maybe that I may find, or who knows. But uh, thanks for watching. I don't know how many more instructional videos I might try and do. It's it was kind of fun, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked
please subscribe, comment, happy hunting, and catch you later.